ਸੋ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਜੀ ਇਹ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਅਮ ਸਿਕ ਫੋਰ ਇਟ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਸੈਨ ਫ੍ਰਾਂਸਿਸਕੋ ਡਾਊਨਟਾਊਨ ਚੋਇਸ ਹੀ ਅਬਾਊਟ 3 ਮੰਥਸ ਬੈਕ ਇਨ 2015 ਜਸਟ ਦਿਸ ਈਅਰ and you see all those people holding the banners for sick referendum 2020 which they have no idea how the referendum thing work um and why they doing this you know why they are here why they are demonstrating all that we all know that there's nothing new okay so but the fight they are doing here for a sick homeland of free sick nation is that a place to do a fight for kid no to see show kar rahe ho a fight to see kid against kar rahe ho united states government has nothing to do with this canadian government have nothing to do with this so a sick homeland j to see apne desh pe jo banana hai so why not we go there and start the fight there there are so many people fighting that war for example so that similar using mom you know he is working why don't you just go there and work with him shoulder to shoulder instead of coming out every year on the road and confuse the people especially confusing your own kids your own kids jo sirf sirf ek side of the story jante hain they don't they don't they don't know what they have done they know that or what we have done they have no idea you know if they if you if we wanted if we really ready for the sick homeland we should have a smart leaders to begin with in 1947 although our leader bina they against lardna si they were in bed with them you don't tell that kind of story to your kids it's not them it's us ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਨੂੰ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਲਈ ਜੋ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੋ ਕੀਤਾ ਸਾਮ ਦਾਮ ਦੰਡ ਭੇਦ ਦੇ ਯੂਜ਼ ਐਵਰੀ ਫ੍ਰੀਕਿੰਗ ਥਿੰਗ ਬਟ ਵਾਟ ਆ ਹੈਡ ਵੀ ਡਿਡ ਐਂਡ ਨਾਓ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਹੇਅਰ ਯੂ ਨੋ 15 12000 ਮਾਈਲਸ ਅਵੇ ਫਰਮ ਆਵਰ ਕੰਟਰੀਸ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਸਟਾਰਟਿੰਗ ਫਾਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਸ ਫਾਰ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੇਅਰ ਬਟ ਡਸ ਇਟ ਮੇਕ ਐਨੀ ਸੈਂਸ ਇਟ ਡਸਨਟ ਮੇਕ ਐਨੀ ਸੈਂਸ we need to go back if you show that you are of a uh, true brave true brave who came out of khalsa and go back go back don't stay a day here just go back and this this referendum bs it's technically wrong i don't know who was that daydreamer who started this ideology what well, the thing is it has to be done by the country your country they have to do the referendum to see what the people want and they they haven't done for kashmir so why the heck you think that they'll do it for you you cannot do a referendum you cannot go to united states this this uh um six for justice cannot go to united united nations and you know have them start or start working with you or for you or start a resolution for you they can't do that it's it's your country back there has to do it or any other free country has to come forward and start working on private side that's the only way you can do it i don't know six for justice that that's not a country that's not a country so it's a country or some other free country has to come with you you tell me what country is with you don't name that com- com- country pakistan ਉਹ ਖੁਦ ਹੀ ਵਿਸਾਖੀ ਦੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਕੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਕਰ ਯੂ نو ਇਟ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਥਿਸ ਗਾਇ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਥਿਸ ਗਾਇ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਲ
Man, dude, go back there. Go back there. Man, yell there on the streets, man. Your own people are not with you. I mean, only people I see here is tiny minority of a tiny minority. So how the hell you can make your own country? Not like that. You haven't even started. I mean, I'm, I'm for it. But I don't like the way you guys think and work. And you're not going to achieve nothing the way you do it. Educate your kids. They'll do their job for you. You're far away from the thing called education. It's very far away. And don't confuse your kids, okay, by giving a one side of the information. You need to tell them, hey, how dumb we were, all right? And that's their smartness. They got whatever they had, they had today, and that's your looniness and dumbness. You got whatever you have today. Until you, until you start feeling this thing, you can't achieve your goal. You need to correct yourself what you have done wrong in the past. And, and also, um, keep one thing in your mind, that this is the modern world, and smart is the new brave. Until and unless we show our smartness to the world, we can't pave the way to our success. And how will you get smart? The only one thing, it's just by just by giving education to your kids. And also, um, when it comes to the education, I, I noticed one thing here. Um, of course, when we come from Punjab, we, we, we don't have a educated background. Accept it, okay? There are very few people interested in education that's why we see Punjab today is going down in compared to the other states in India you forget about them we come here right now we have kids who born here they also have the same thing like us they just don't have an interest in the education especially getting um, um, college degrees or universe going to universities very few people very few, you know, because we don't have that, that's why they don't have that. I don't know, how will you pass um, that good and only thing to them, but if you are able to do it, then, oh yeah, then of course your future is great. Education is the only key. Look at, look at the South Indians, you know, they just came here, and they make... The Indian Im Im immigrants, like top immigrants, top immigrant community in the United States. But well, we are living here for more than 100 years. We couldn't be able to do that. Education, that is the key. There is no comparison. I'm not comparing us with them. But hey, that's the only thing. That's the only, only thing. And, and also, and also, uh, uh, I'm going to talk to those kids, right, who, who are getting all these messages from, from their parents. Injustice happens, but that's not the way to fight. And also, let's say, let's say the Khalistan is built. Now we have a new nation today. What will you do with the people who live outside of Punjab, the Sikhs who live outside of Punjab, you know how many Sikhs live out of the Punjab? More than Punjab. And I'm only talking about India. What would you do? What, what happened to those? Did you ever, ever think about this? And the same thing, same thing at 1984, 79 to 84, the, the mess in the Punjab created by these, these hardliners at that time, they did not care any Sikhs who live outside of Punjab what would happen to them and I and I and I tell you I tell you you know what just go and live in India 
go for a vacation, you know, instead of going to Punjab, go to South, go to East, go to West, go Delhi, go UP, you know, anywhere, live there, two months, three months, spend some time there. I don't think anyone look at you with the hateful eyes. I don't think anyone telling you to get the hell out of there because you are Sikh. I don't think anyone discriminates you there for doing anything. I don't think if you want to work there, they don't give you a job. I don't think so. This, this, this loony land created here by your parents who never even lived outside of Punjab. They have no idea what, how that country works. And that country is, is very successful. You know, in, in um, handling all those diversification, every country have the problems, but but not like what your parents described to you. I'm not telling they're they're you know they don't know, but they are uninformed. They are uninformed, and same information they are passing on to you. Go to India. Try. Live in Bombay. Live in Bangalore. Live in Kerala. Go south. Live in Calcutta. Live in Darjeeling. Those are beautiful places to go by Himalayas. Enjoy the life there. Enjoy the people. I bet you. You don't have kind of discrimination yet. Yeah, you do with the people. Right here. Right here. I feel that hatred from my own people. I don't feel hatred from anyone else. Because I myself live outside of Punjab. So they look at the outside people like, I don't know, not a good eye. Not a good eye. Instead of getting anything from them, Google it. You get more information out there than anywhere else. Look at your mistakes and, and fix it. That's the only way. That's the only way. Thanks for watching.